up guys welcome back today i'm going to show you some of the most addictive games on the nintendo switch i'm talking endless runners you know the kind of games that you technically can never beat the kind of games that never finish that is for as long as you manage to stay alive you can only set high scores and there lies the fun whether it be by playing alone or with friends or family or some leaderboards that is the challenge in these games and I have spent dozens of hours. These are the kind of games that quickly log some series hours on your Nintendo Switch. It's nice to see how much time you've actually spent in those games. Well, today I'm going to show you my top three for the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to show you Smash Rush, recently released, beautiful, gorgeous looking game. I'm going to show you Grid, released some time back. Pretty much the same concept, but very, very different, at least in its aesthetics and approach love that game and then my personal favorite jumping joe and friends so we've got a lot of ground to cover and you guys strap yourself in for this one it's gonna be a lot of fun so without further ado let's go perfect control Smash Rush is a game developed by Istom Games, who sent over this review copy, thanks a lot you guys, and to put it in their own words, rush, hit and smash your way through futuristic alien crystal glass tunnels, avoiding laser beams, traps and other alien obstacles. Explore colorful dimensions in a galaxy far away. Your task is to navigate monumental alien structures, smashing all crystal panels and score bubbles while avoiding deadly obstacles and laser beams. The procedurally generated levels ensure every run is different. Although the reference of the tunnel and its objects being alien and the us being in a galaxy far away aren't all that strong to be honest, the game however is superbly rendered with beautiful graphics as you zip through the tunnels. And yes, the best thing is that every single run is essentially different because the levels are procedurally generated. The odd thing though is that even though the levels are always different, some are distinctly more difficult than others. This can make it a bit harder comparing scores with your friends or the online leaderboards. All the same, Smash Rush is a game which stands proud in the top 3 endless runners and deserves to be on your Nintendo Switch. Perfect control. Next up, Grid, a game developed by Antap Studio who sent over this review copy some time ago and I've managed to put in quite a few hours over the course of time. The developer describes the game as a neon cyberpunk arcade shooter that drops you into cyberspace as a hacker battling an unrelenting AI for access into the system's mainframe. It takes inspiration from classics of a bygone era and evolves those themes and mechanics into a modern arcade experience. And they couldn't have described it any better than that. It might not have the overpowering aesthetics of Smash Rush, but it is drenched in retro arcade goodness. The game simply is a gem. Whereas in the previous game, a run of anywhere over a minute feels as an achievement. In Grid, you'll likely survive much longer than that but not for a lack of obstacles. The AI depicted as a floating face is a tough customer, but I just love those dragons flying by. And once you get the hang of things, you can start taking notice of the gorgeous surroundings. See the road being laid out in front of you and the neon colors pop right out of the screen. seen the latest release of Tron and I recommend you absolutely do check out that movie and like what you're seeing there you're going to love this title. Pick up power-ups along the way and stay alive till you are de-rezzed. 
Oh, and remember the NES Power Glove? The developers have programmed the game in such a way so as to be able to play in the so-called Power Glove mode by holding the joystick just like so. Brilliant! And then comes Jumping Joe and Friends, a game which at the moment of recording has logged over 25 hours on my Switch. Publisher Cubic Games sent through this copy for review and man, is this a good game. Unlike Smash Rush and Grid, in this game you're not moving forward, you're not going in the direction of the screen, you're instead moving upwards by jumping either diagonally to the right or left. And occasionally you can hide a right by activating a rock chip. A simple setup but plenty of depth with various gameplay modes and 8 unique characters. To put it in their own words, help Joe and his fellas on their upwards journey. Be quick as a flash and dodge roaring cannibals, vicious bats and other traps. Perform high scores or leave your competitors in the dust. Part of the reason for logging that many hours is because you need to earn enough credits to unlock the various characters and their power-ups. But it is absolutely worth every minute of it. The music alone is enough to keep you playing for hours on end and it simply doesn't get boring. And frustration is kept at bay thanks to its lovely aesthetics and style. It is one of my favorite indie games on the Switch and probably the cheapest on this list. Well guys, that's a wrap. Three titles, each just as addictive and all of them the potential to log some serious hours. The perfect games to play on the go or to have laying around when you get a party started. I mean, all of the ingredients are there, next to no learning curve, in your face aesthetics, high scores all over the place and enticing music running in the background, pretty nice. And don't forget, all of these are budget titles. And even if you want to save some more money, these are also the kind of games that would go on discount quite regularly. So be sure to keep an eye out and I'm pretty much out of reasons why you would buy them. But in case you can come up with a reason why not to, I'm interested. I'm all ears. Be sure to drop that comment in this section down below. All the same, hit the like button if you have enjoyed this little review, this little top three endless runner games. And Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I will see you next time.